Well, hello, my beautiful Pisceans. Welcome to my channel. This is Baba Jolie here with a little bonus reading all about you. I've already cleansed your space and have meditated on your cards. For those of you who are returning, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for all your wonderful likes, shares, and subscribes. I am truly grateful for all your beautiful energy. Just a little reminder, though, this is a general reading, not a one-to-one -one reading, just so you're aware. Also, please be mindful, scammers are about to pretend to be me and lots of other tarot readers. I do not do personal readings, so I will never reach out to you personally personally to offer one. Also, I never ask for money, e-gifts, or donations. So if anyone masquerading as me asks you for anything at all, please report them or ignore them. It is a scam, okay? Let's move straight on with your reading. I'm going to cleanse your space hourly, so please be mindful there's going to be three loud sounds. Let us begin. <coughs> Okay, my beautiful Pisces, this is a little bonus reading all about you. Us tarot readers, we tend to do love readings, career, money readings, but we never ask, how are you doing? So this is really a check-in to see how you are, what you're going through right now, and how you're moving through this time period, and how things are going to work out for you. So let us begin. I'm using one deck because it lends itself to a wonderful simplicity to get really to the heart of the matter. Also, I cannot control the cards that pop out. They will come out as they are meant to so I have to address the energy that comes out in that moment and of course um, you know I can't make it fit everybody so if it doesn't resonate also don't try to make it fit but I will see what comes out for you right now now your first card is the devil card so some of you are feeling a little bit stuck in uh, some part of your life right now and we've also got the three of wands there as well so some of you I'm being given a question right now is what you're waiting for worth the wait? Okay, so um, whether this is a person, a circumstance, because I feel an energy of you breaking away from something that perhaps has not been worth the wait because there's something else that's even better than before coming for you. Look at that chariot card, moving away, being successful in some area or uh, choosing a path that is healthier for you at this time. But also some of you, I feel like there's this energy of, even though you have goals, because that chariot card indicates that you're very goal oriented, very productive, some of you may have felt a little bit in limbo, almost like you are an autopilot in some area of your life, or you may feel the things that perhaps um, you wanted are changed or you've changed and it just feels like you're not sure if you want the, those things anymore in the form that you wanted them because I feel something is changing within you there's definitely a spiritual awakening going on here I feel like some of you are definitely removing yourself from toxic situations with that devil card and the four of swords there we've got the emperor energy thank you so much spirit guides going angels can you please guide my beautiful Pisceans what do they need to know can you please guide them for their highest good what are they meant to see at this time now, what I can see here is you are someone who is a very sensitive person. You have a beautiful soul. You're very healing, very supportive, very nurturing, a really great friend to people, and you give your all. I see that you give your all to people. Um, life has become pretty serious, so I see here with that emperor energy, and I will give you each card in a moment individually, but I really get a sense here that a lot of you feel that uh, there's a heaviness. It just feels like um, even though you are moving and making progress in life, it just feels like it's hard. It also feels like there's a delay in your abundance or a delay in something. Um, and it just feels like it's really difficult and a little bit unfair is what I see there as well. I feel like you're detaching yourself from something that has been a problem or something that has been worrying you. Uh, and I feel like things are going to work out better than you expect, actually, because the chariot card and the queen of cups indicates a positive outcome. You know, you take charge of a situation and you overcome a hurdle or if you've been feeling stuck or in limbo it feels like your motivation your drive your tenacity returns and I feel with that devil card energy some of you are looking at how you've attached yourself to certain things that perhaps you've either outgrown because the devil card it's not an evil card it can indicate that we need to let go of something that just isn't working for us anymore but we feel bonded to it or it's hard to let it go uh, for some of you i feel like you're definitely getting closure on this because two cards either side it's 
of the devil card, basically it's saying, you know, you're turning your back on uh, something that was difficult, challenging, uh, a lot of pressure, because I feel some of you are under a lot of pressure and you're trying to manage stress levels right now, because it almost feels like the world is demanding more and more and more of you right now. And I feel that some of you are feeling just really fed up with the way things are going and you're setting new changes in motion to benefit your future. So um, also I feel for some of you, um, there's an energy here of you waiting for something. Uh, now there is an emperor energy. So for some of you, it could be that you're waiting for love. Okay. You're hoping for uh, love to come in. You're so ready to fall in love. You're someone who's creating space for new love to come in. Now this reading is not really about love, but uh, if you are looking for love, I do see that you're going to have progress in that area. There is a little bit of a wait still. Uh, I know I don't like to give that message, but I have to give you what I see. I have to be honest there, but I feel this is about you learning that you are a gift. You know, you are learning about the mystery of love, the mystery of people, of life in general, and you know that you are someone who uh, is lovable both inside and out. And it's taking you a long time to gain that confidence, but I do see that uh, you're learning about self care, uh, unconditional self love, and making sure that you know you don't put another person on a pedestal because when you do that, you inadvertently put yourself below that person and you change the dynamics of the connection. But some of you, because you are a natural healer, because you're naturally uh, full of support and you are. Uh, a very um, you know sensitive person and you have a lot of empathy you may have drawn some toxic people or circumstances into your life and they've gravitated towards you so that you would be the light in their storm let's put it that way and I feel like you're done with those situations you're so fed up with attracting people who take or drain you and you're moving away from this because you're erecting healthier boundaries it's almost like some of you are like I need to have a higher boundary so how do I reestablish my power and do that now, also, I'm seeing here that something that you have been waiting for that is actually very positive for you and is in alignment with your heart's desire, it will be delivered. You will accomplish it. There is success here. Uh, but some of you, you're so exhausted, okay, so fed up. I feel like some of you are withdrawing in order to detach from difficult situations, drama, fear, doubt, and I feel like you're reestablishing your power in life in general and really taking charge. And although, um, you know, you've felt a lot of pressure on your shoulders recently, sometimes you may have even been obsessed by this amount of pressure or whatever it is you had to do. Um, I feel that, you know, you're going to come out of this period and there is peace. I want you to be aware of that. There's peace, serenity, and I feel like some of you need to take better self-care is what I'm seeing there as well because I feel the pressure has been on. Also, some of you are looking at temptation in your life, things that you know, you're tempted to connect to that perhaps are not the healthiest of options for you and I feel like you're detaching from those things. It's almost like I'm seeing a major detox, okay, where you have more vitality at the end of it. It just feels like you're doing what's right for you, not in a selfish way, but in a really positive way that benefits you long term. And some of you are really like hoping to do a bit of traveling as well. Now that's your overarching kind of energy. Let's dissect each card as it comes. The devil card, okay, as I said, it's not an evil card, but it does highlight that in some area of your life, you're feeling a little bit stuck. It feels like um, you're truly helpless to change a situation right now. And you may be withdrawing in order to reflect on it, to heal from it, or to even seek answers on it. I'm really getting a sense here that some of you have been leading with your passions and burning the candle at both ends. You're exhausted. You're burnt out. So that can also indicate that, you know, you're really passionate about what you do. But sometimes when people are really excited and passionate about what they do, they kind of obsess over it or they focus all their energy on it without even thinking or stopping for rest. So I feel some of you are trying to readdress the balance there. I mean, for some of you, not all of you, but I am picking up an energy of some of you looking at substances that perhaps you connect to in some way and how um, they are um, clouding your mind in some way. And I feel like you want to have a little bit more clarity. So for some of you, it could be that you're thinking about like stepping away from alcohol or substances in some way. And some of you may even be dealing with someone who um, had some sort of addiction there. Um, 
you know, gosh, I keep hearing this song, and I've been hearing it before I came to this reading. I even started singing it um, just before I came to this reading and started kind of like, what? What's this song all about? Um, now, this song, it may have come up before in a past reading for somebody, maybe even a year or so ago. I can't really remember. Um, and it's like a sea shanty, okay? Um, it's like... Um, it's not what should we do with the drunken sailor. It's not that. Um, I'm hearing the tune of it right now, but it's there's no lyrics. So, um, I, nobody needs to hear me sing. So I did a little bit of a hum because I'm trying to give you the tune that it is, but I can't. I feel like it's a sea shanty, right? But um, there's definitely words that go along with it. And I was kind of singing it earlier, but my guides are just giving me the tune of it right now. So um, I'm guessing they don't really want me to give you the words of it. So anyway, um, <laughs> nobody's probably going to be able to realize what the song is from my humming. But anyway, I don't think I've ever done that on a reading ever. So this is a first. But I had to kind of give you what I can hear because there's no words. So I don't really know how to sort of give you the information because I also don't know who sings it or uh, I want to say someone called Tom sings it but I, I, I'm probably wrong on that and I can't uh, know for it uh, and you know I was singing it beforehand and I still can't remember any of the lyrics of what I was singing before it's so random it's almost like I've got a blank but all I can hear is the tune anyway uh, some of you may know what this is and when I finish this reading I will definitely look it up and I'll put it in the comments below okay so that you'll know what it is now it could be that um, this is connected to because um, I almost wanted to connect it to what should we do with the drunken sailor okay um, early in the morning but it's not that song at all okay so some of you may have been dealing with someone who has addictions or some of you you may have grown up in a household where there were addictions and you're trying to resolve those experiences within yourself and get some sort of closure you may have also noticed toxic patterns or cycles of repeat that have played out in your life like you've attracted similar sort of energies into your life or you yourself have um, you know completed a cycle that is repetitive in some way and now you're detaching from it so please take it as it resonates not everybody's going to be feeling that or experience that I totally get that but it just came up there, so I have to mention it. I definitely see you moving away from this energy. And um, for some of you, you may even have like um, a person in spirit. Okay, this is coming up. Uh, someone who's already transitioned, who perhaps um, dealt with substances or there was some sort of connection there. I mean, it could be that they didn't have anything to do with substances, but they were a sailor. I'm not really sure. So please take it as it resonates. Uh, this person... Again, it's a sea shanty. I keep getting sea shanty, sea shanty. So, um, I mean, this figure is literally looking out to sea. So either some of you are going to travel or go overseas at some point. Uh, but it could also be that perhaps you're yearning for the sea or you're going to hear this song. It may even be relevant for you when you hear this song. It indicates someone in spirit is with you. Uh, I'm just going to see if I can get an image. Uh, I'm seeing a cube. It's really weird, a uh, cube. It's almost like a mother of pearl kind of cube. Um, it looks like a cube. It's definitely, yeah, mother of pearl type. Oh, yeah, it's really unique. Uh, so this is very strange. Uh, not strange, but it's very hard to articulate. It's a mother of pearl type material that is in the shape of a cube. So that's what I'm being shown. Okay, again, mother of pearl is from the sea. So, um... There may be a sea connection here, sea shanty. I mean, I'm I'm sure my guides are trying to give me something right now, but I'm probably not pinpointing it. So I do apologize. I can only give you what I can see and what I can feel. And unless my guide gives me something very specific to give, I can't give any more than that. So uh, with respect, I'll move away from that energy. Could be that you're going to find a cube that's in the shape of a mother of pearl, or maybe you're going to see one, or maybe it's something that is relevant to you. And this is an indication from someone in spirit that... Um, 
it's relevant that they're around and they want you to know that they are with you. Uh, they're protecting you. I've just heard they're protecting you. Whoever this person is, doesn't have to be a masculine energy. I just want you to be aware, but I'm seeing someone in spirit um, who is protecting you. And um, some of you may be thinking about traveling or relocating. And if you've been asking if this person is going to travel with you, the answer is yes. Uh, for some of you, it could be that you are leaving a family place or leaving an area that was important to this person, um, this person is still going to come with you. So you're not leaving this person behind. They are with you no matter what because it's you they want to be with, okay? So again, with respect, I'm going to move away from the energy because it was very intense and overwhelming. I couldn't think or hear anything else. So uh, I will step away from that. I'm just going to ground myself there as well. Um, but some of you beautiful Pisces, the rest of you may be looking at your temptations right now. Okay, I'm getting this energy of you resisting something or stepping away from something. I definitely see the pressure has been on as well in life in general. And I feel like some of you are just like, I just want to take a rest. I can't catch a break right now. I feel the pressure has been on. Some of you have been feeling a bit of anxiety or fear because this card can indicate that there's something that's worrying you right now and you feel helpless to change your circumstances. But sometimes with that Four of Swords, when we take a step back, you know, we allow the answers to come to us. So I feel don't pressurize it, don't try to push it or force it because it can indicate here that, you know, you are uh, going to find the answers that you seek that will help you resolve your issue. Because whatever it is you're worrying about, I feel uh, a solution is found. The chariot card indicates you overcome the hurdle and, uh, you know, you overcome the obstacle as well. And, you know, basically I feel like you move past it. You may take action on it, but um, I feel like you're going to love the outcome long term. It almost feels like there is really nothing to worry about because the outcome energy indicates you move past it. There may be some time, but you'll move past it, whatever it is for you. Now, also, uh, for some of you, there could be a toxic relationship that you feel bonded to. Perhaps this person promises the world, but keeps you waiting, never really invests, is someone who is abusing their situation. They know that you love this person, or they know that um, you have uh, emotions, or you're very supportive of this person. It just feels like you keep giving your nurture and care to this person, which is really wonderful, but at what cost? If this person is draining you, or if uh, this person is, um, you know, hurting you in a situation, then I definitely see with that Four Swords, you're detaching because the Four Swords is a card of being on your own, being independent to really get your head straight or to clear the air in some way. So I definitely see that some of you are detaching in order to just get clear in your mind what it is that you want. And you're definitely healing from a very toxic situation because the Four Swords is uh, a card of closure, of reflection, of um, basically meditation or even recuperation. So some of you, it could be that you're recovering from uh, something that was really negative for you and you're overcoming it. And literally these two cards could also reflect someone being in recovery right now and that you're going to move past it and you're going to be free of it. So I definitely see really exciting energy ahead for you. Uh, now, some of you, this could be that when you have moments of solitude or silence, especially before bed, some of you could start to think about your fears or your worries or your doubts. They come flooding in. And I feel some of you, uh, you're learning to take charge of your thoughts, especially before bed, because, you know, what you think about, especially in the uh, sort of twilight energy, I like to call it twilight energy, just before you fall asleep. Sometimes, you know, if we're worried about something, we can catastrophize. And what we mean by that is that, you know, if you attach yourself to a negative vibration before sleep, um, then, you know, it can actually change your mood and it feels like you don't get a really good night's sleep. And when you catastrophize or think of the worst case situation, sometimes you can attract it towards you because you're thinking about it so much. The universe doesn't hear good or bad. The universe doesn't feel pain or sadness or happiness. The universe responds to the energy, the frequency that you're giving out. And if you're giving out fear or sadness or, um, you know, uh, toxicity, for example, then then the universe is reflecting back to you what is coming out of you. And that's very hard to get your head around at first, but it's like karma, you know, it sort of comes back. We are all energy exchanges. So um, I feel right now you're actually releasing 
a period of negativity, uh, you're overcoming some worries or fears, you're going to get the answers uh, of whatever it is that you seek right now. And um, for some of you, this is literally, be a little bit mindful what you watch before bedtime. If you're watching a horror movie before bed, uh, then it can mean that you won't get as much of a peaceful night's sleep as if you went to bed without watching a horror movie, for example. Now, don't get me wrong. I love a good horror film, and I love all those documentaries uh, about... Um, you know, the unknown and things like that. So, um, you know, there is a time and a place, but if it's just before bed and on your own, I mean, this is a four of swords, which is on your own, then of course, you know, any creak or any like noise is going to make you feel a little bit jittery, or it can also influence uh, the vibrations before you fall to sleep. Okay. So that's like not going to resonate with everyone, but again, it's coming out there. Ultimately, I see you healing from something that was really difficult and super pressurized right now because life is hard, okay? I definitely see here that some of you, you're doing it all alone, you know, and sometimes it just feels like you can't catch a break. And I feel like you need to be aware that you've got this, but also that you should be really proud of yourself. Yes, you've got a lot of responsibilities on your shoulders and those responsibilities, they're always going to be there, but I feel like you're having more of a command over them in the next coming weeks and months and years, actually. And I feel there definitely is a brighter future for you to look forward to there as well. Now, I'm also being shown uh, two birds, okay? Uh, now, an eagle I'm being shown and an owl they're very separate um, the owl is just sitting there on a branch looking at me as I'm scrying in the water as I'm doing your reading and the eagle is actually flying okay now I mean if I'm to decode this energy this could be uh, that you are uh, balancing your need for freedom whilst also acknowledging your earthly responsibilities because we all have them we have to pay the bills we have to look after our families uh, we have to you know try and do life but at the same time we have to remember to have fun and do the things that we love doing spontaneity uh, enjoyment um, being a little bit more playful so, uh, I mean, the eagle can represent, you know, a bird's eye view of your goals. So it can be like, if you're feeling under pressure right now, take a step back, you know, actually uh, reassess the situation. The right answers will come to you when you take a period of respite in order to get clear. You know, if there's ever a problem, the brain is a supercomputer, and sometimes when you take a step back or you actually, you know, uh, go to sleep, you know, they say sleep on it, uh, then your brain sets things in motion that tries to find a solution to your problem. So suddenly you'll have new ideas, you know, so sometimes we need to take that step back in order to uh, see clearly. Because when you're in the midst of it, it can feel really overwhelming. It can feel like, I don't know how to get out of this, or I don't know what the answer is. Somebody help. And, you know, sometimes... If we just take that step back, get that bird's eye view, literally, of your life um, and take things in little steps or compartmentalize steps towards your goals because you got the chariot card, which is a goal card. It means you're going to be successful. With dedication, you're going to make progress and your commitment to success is assured because you're putting the energy in and you, know, you can be confident that you're going to reach whatever it is you're trying to reach. But sometimes it can feel really overwhelming, especially when you feel like you're doing it all by yourself. Okay, so it's almost like like break it up into little parts and then, you know, uh, work on each part as you arrive to it. Rather than think about the whole journey, trust that the universe is going to help you on your path and you're going to reach your goal. All you need to do is put one foot in front of the other and uh, move towards whatever it is that you are heading towards and you'll get there. Uh, but I mean, the eagle represents a visionary power, uh, balancing, you know, your wisdom and your knowledge, because of course, you've got the owl there, which is all about the mystery. Uh, it's a very protective energy. It's an intuitive energy. It's also a clairvoyant energy. So some of you may be uh, developing your spiritual gifts at this time, especially since you have that queen of cups. But this is a period where you should spread your wings and fly is what I see here. This is about taking flight, being independent and um, observing what is right for you. This is very much an independent card. This is about you, uh, you know, tapping into your inner awareness for answers and, uh, you know, trying to quieten a very busy mind right now because the world is loud. We've built a very loud environment. You know, we've got airplanes, helicopters going by, cars, uh, you know, people hustling and bustling, you know, lots of bombardment of information, of news, of everything, text calls, you just can't get away from it all sometimes. And I feel some of you are so exhausted with 
everything that's on your plate right now that you are just hoping to catch a break and it's really hard to find a moment to yourself. With this Four of Swords, I feel like quiet reflection is important. So some of you may go into meditation or find that you may not be good at meditation at first, but the more you do it, the more practice you have, you know, even if it's five, 10 minutes, then 10, 20 minutes, whatever it is, if you build up, then I feel this sense of calmness coming. It's like breathe. There's nothing to worry about long term. Now, also, the Four of Swords indicates closure, withdrawal from something that has been really difficult, that may have even been causing you problems. So I definitely see here that there is sanctuary. When we have a stained glass window in any tarot card, it means that there is peace, but there is also divine intervention helping you with any problem that you have. So I feel this is a card that kind of indicates you're close to burnout with the two together, but I feel there's an energy here of you uh, convalescing or or um, de-stressing or, you know, releasing anxiety and be ready to act because the next stage of your journey is beginning and it's really exciting and it's very fulfilling as well and you're going to love it. Now, what else am I getting with that? Because my guides are saying I'm not finished with these two cards. The Devil card and the Four of Swords. Okay. Um, now, the Four of Swords can indicate an energy of solitude, okay? And some of you may have taken some time in solitude. And as you start to mature and evolve spiritually, uh, then we start to downsize on our friendship circles. So friendships change and you are maturing away from these uh, situations that no longer uh, resonate with your vibration because you are reaching higher vibes and other people may not be in the same vein right now. Um, and some of you with that devil card and the four of swords, it feels lonely. It feels really lonely to go through a spiritual awakening. And some of you are looking for your soul tribe or you're trying to, uh, you know, see where you fit in right now. But I see you, um, you know, moving to different environments, different places, new faces. And I feel you're going to vibe with people who really resonate with who you are. So I feel this energy, some of you, not all of you are feeling a little bit lonely, or you may even feel that even in like a group of people, sometimes you still feel like you're on the outside looking in. Somehow you just don't gel or these people or these situations don't gel. And that's not in all walks of life. I just feel some of you are just noticing how you're in some way different. And it doesn't mean that you're different in a bad way. Actually, it's a really positive way because it set you apart so that you can have the confidence to do things that you want independently, but also to join a group whenever you feel that you either need the support or you need to raise vibrations because we all need people. Humans are very community oriented. So I feel like sometimes when we're alone and we spend long periods alone, you know, it can be good for us and it is necessary for us to go off and recharge and withdraw, but don't spend too much time alone because that can also spill into like a negative. So I feel balance is the key there. Now, um, we've got the three of wands here. The three of wands indicates an energy of observation. Maybe that's what that uh, owl was about. I mean, I really feel that, you know, knowledge, silence. Some of you are trying to orchestrate some sort of change in your life right now and you're not telling anybody about it. Um, but some of you also may be obsessing about it because you feel that if you tell anyone about it, that someone may be jealous about it or uh, put a negative spin on it so it goes wrong. I really feel like you're in a really good place right now to keep it to yourself. And when the moment is right, then you'll reveal it. But you know, work hard in silence or orchestrate this change that you're trying to go through right now in silence. Um, I do see that, you know, there are some people who are your confidants that you can, of course, share this with. But right now, I feel until you get it sort of straight in your mind, then I feel only then will you reveal it to the people who are closest to you. Now, the Three of Wands can also indicate the weight observing, waiting for the right time for you to make some sort of change or, I mean, for some of you, it could literally be that you are trying to go traveling or you want to go on a vacation or you want to relocate, but you have a lot of responsibilities right now and you feel now is not the time. So some of you are delaying something that actually is making you feel a little bit frustrated or a little bit unsure about your path. Um, I feel when the moment is right, you will know 
it's time to act. I mean, the Four of Swords tells me be ready to act because the time is approaching where you need to launch something new or take uh, charge of a situation and you are making the right decision. You're actually on the right path. The Three of Wands, if some of you have been concerned that you've been feeling a little bit in limbo or feeling a bit stuck in some area of your life, even though you've got stuff to do. Even though you've got goals, this card indicates you're on the right path. Keep going. Don't give up. I feel like you're very close to accomplishing whatever it is that you want to accomplish. Now, also, the Three of Wands tends to mean that things are going to work out better than you expected. But sometimes, uh, if we've had things go wrong on us in the past, or we've had a disappointment or a heartbreak, we can start to expect that maybe it's going to happen again and again, or that perhaps the future doesn't hold anything other than that. But I feel there is a change here. You're turning your back on this difficult time, whatever this is, you know, and I feel like you're protected. So the Four of Swords actually is a card of protection. Those swords are not a threat. They are protecting the figure as they take some rest. So I feel, you know, some of you are moving away from um, very toxic situations, relationships, friendships, environments, or even bad habits. Some of you are breaking old habits right now whether that is uh, reaching for something that's unhealthy for you, whether it's procrastination, whether it's fear or doubt in yourself. I see you establishing yourself in a very powerful position, taking charge, taking action and leading. It's almost like you're taking charge of your life and being a leader for your life because if you don't take charge of your life, someone else will, okay? So I feel it's really important to recognize that you hold the key to you moving forward and I definitely see that when the moment is right, you're going to run with it and it's going to be so exciting. Also, this Three of Wands is a card of um, harmony, being in alignment with your heart's desire. I mean, the Devil card, it's not an evil card, and I keep being drawn back to it. And I'm being given this energy of your lust for life. Some of you are so exhausted and burnt out, you feel like your lust for life has disappeared in some way. Like, it's almost like this energy of something has changed, and you're hoping that the future is brighter, but right now you can't see how that can be. So it just feels like you're steadying yourself for what's to come next. However, I feel what's to come next is really positive and actually you're going to really love it. But um, whatever has been difficult or challenging, it may have prevented you from having fun or letting your hair down or embracing that playful spirit because we do have the emperor here. And the history of the emperor card, there's always a fool in the background until they changed it in the last, uh, you know, uh, couple of decades, there used to be a fool in the Emperor card, which was a little reminder that, yes, you've got lots of responsibilities on your shoulders. We all have to pay bills. We all have to do life. And, um, you know, that's not going to change. But I feel that, you know, things are going to get easier for you. And I feel um, it's really about finding the balance between that level of responsibility and also, um, you know, this independent spirit um, and this fun that you should be having. I mean, the journey, it should be enjoyable as much as possible, but we're all here to learn lessons as well. So I feel some of you are just asking this massive question, like, why does it have to be so hard? You know, if I'm actually looking at um, these cards from a world perspective, some of you are asking, why is there so much, you know, horrible energy or hatred in the world? When you are someone who leads with love and empathy, you can't understand why other people would ever be so cruel. And you're looking at establishments, people who lead. They should be leading by example, but they're in the resistance position. They're not. So some of you are hoping for a brighter day. You're hoping that the world's challenges will not influence uh, you or your family and also the people that it is currently influencing. You're hoping that there is respite. You're hoping that there is a positive outcome or that there is some sort of challenge to it that stops it and prevents it because... As I see these cards, it's almost like these three cards are backing the devil card into a corner. Like you're choosing the light, you're choosing love, and you're backing this negative energy into a corner. So I feel very much like you're trying to look at the world in that terms as well, as even on a personal level. And with this emperor energy in the resistance position, some of you may be looking at where people abuse their power in life. And not just in terms of, you know, your life, but in terms of the world as well, because the emperor can represent establishments, uh, you know, establishments that rule or govern a land. So I feel you're just looking at, for some of you, you're looking at where you feel like you belong. You know, if a country is ruled by a certain 
person and you don't agree with how it's being run right now, some of you may actually literally be thinking about leaving or relocating or emigrating because we have the chariot card there and we have the three of wands and this is a movement. It's like, where do you feel like you belong? So some of you are actually thinking on those very deep terms right now. And I feel like you're going to end up in a place where you truly love. And you may feel that the process will be difficult, but actually it's going to be easier than you thought uh, is what I see there as well. Now, also the emperor, of course, it is a divine masculine energy. So if some of you are waiting for love, but you've just been encountering people who lust after you or who physically find you very attractive, but they're not willing to be authentic enough with themselves to go deeper, or they are running away from their feelings, I feel like you're not going to encounter that sort of person person anymore. I feel like you're going to meet someone who is open to the journey of life with you, someone who wants to go deeper, someone who's thought about their future, who wants to um, settle down, someone you can trust and respect. So I feel some of you, if you've been feeling a little bit in limbo in terms of love, uh, I feel there is someone new coming in here and you will fall in love with this person and vice versa. Um, but also the emperor energy is you looking at times when you needed to erect healthier boundaries, where you feel like someone took advantage of you or where you felt like you gave your power away because anything in the resistance position, it will go into the upright, okay? And I feel if you've been dealing with anyone who's been abusing their power in a situation or who has been immature or who has a nasty ego, who's been trying to, um, you know, put their expectations upon you, I see that you're not dealing with it anymore. You're just stepping back and saying, you know what, is it worth it? Is it worth it? And if it's not, I see you're moving away from it. Um, now, the Emperor card, of course, is a serious card. So I feel like some of you are focusing seriously on your goals without procrastinating. I feel like you want to move forward. They're showing me a huge clock. Time is of the essence. I feel like you don't want to waste your time. And you certainly do not want anyone to be wasting your time either. So I definitely see that there is an ambition energy here. Even if you're retired, I get this energy of you focusing on where you feel like you belong, reestablishing your belief system, tapping into your spiritual gifts, and looking at this unconditional love that is within you. So uh, for some of you, I'm getting an energy of adopting a pet or pets, okay? Some of you may already have a pet and you may be thinking of getting a companion pet for that uh, pet there. Uh, but I'm also getting this energy of you loving and nurturing and getting connected to the environment, to nature, and having an affinity with nature there as well. Um, but ultimately, I feel... Some of you, there's a lot of pressure on your shoulders and some of you may have even thought about like whisking yourself away into the sun to run away from responsibility or run away from uh, things that perhaps have been pressurizing you and a break is good. I see with the Four Swords, you need a rest, but we can never really truly run away from anything. We have to face it and I see uh, your cards, you're facing it you're looking at it and you're going to resolve it. So if you are having a problem or an issue with a person or a situation, or maybe it's an inner battle that you've been dealing with. Some of you, it could be confidence. I feel like you're going like, to face it head on and you're going to overcome it. And I feel you're going to be successful in it as well. Now that chariot card indicates movement. So if you have been feeling a little bit in limbo or even on autopilot, because you're someone who is, um, very sensitive, you know, and you may have felt almost with the devil card and the four of swords, some of you may have even felt a little bit numb in the last couple of years. You know, it's almost like you don't know what to feel anymore. It just feels like so alien. The energy is so weird or it feels like everything is on its head somehow. And you're just trying to rekindle a relationship with your sense of self to reestablish a part of yourself that perhaps you feel has been missing for some time. And this chariot card indicates that you are recharged and uh, moving forward. Uh, it can be a card that indicates you've been very disciplined with your emotions, almost like compartmentalizing things because you felt you had to be logical or you had to be practical in an ever-changing world. And I feel that you should be really proud of yourself. Also, I mean, in terms of finances, because I'm being given a financial energy right now, some of you are just trying to keep a tight rein on your finances, maybe looking at budgets to make sure that you have enough money for a rainy day. And, you know, for some of you, if you have retired, for example, it could be that you are uh, looking at your resources and what you have to keep you in those resources and, you know, how to spend it wisely, for example. Uh, but ultimately, I see that you're going to really tap into that sense of, you know, unconditional love for self, self-care, and doing things 
precisely for yourself. It's almost like you are choosing uh, specific things that make you happy. And you are uh, almost like going your own way. You're investing in yourself at this time. Uh, some of you that may be through traveling. And some of you may be trying to be a little bit more nomadic in your energy. But I just get this desire for independence, this energy of wanting to break free from something that has been super hard and break free you shall. Uh, that chariot card indicates success, it indicates movement um, and taking control, okay? There's two different types of control. The devil card is a negative control. It means you're stifling things. It means you're holding on too hard to something that perhaps needs to be let go. And the chariot card is to go, okay, I'm open to fate. Because this figure is actually leading without any reins. They are confident within themselves because they have the knowingness. As you can see, this uh, figure there, there is a crown of stars there, which represent the crown chakra, is inspired and knows the way. And is open to the direction that the universe also wants to guide them in because they trust the process. So this is like a healthy sort of balance between you making an independent free will decision and saying, I want this and I'm going to take steps towards this. And the universe says, okay, I see your goal. You'll have your goal, but I may throw in some plot twists along the way because there may be new people you need to meet or new experiences you need to have, but you'll still reach your goal. So I feel this is an energy here of not controlling things too tightly, recognizing that change is a factor in life. We can't change that fact. Uh, you know, change is the one constant thing. You know, people change, seasons change, everything changes. So I see here you're trying to be flexible in an ever-changing world and you're trying to find your way and you will. We also have uh, the Queen of Cups there. So that indicates that you are someone who is emotionally sensitive, but also you're starting to understand yourself in a different way and you're delving really deep. Also, you're becoming comfortable in your own skin and learning how to nurture yourself in a healthy way. Practices that perhaps, you know, you didn't really care too much for when you were younger, maybe you're implementing them now. Uh, like, for example, you know, I was always on the go when I was younger. Um, everyone always said, oh, you need to just relax and take a bath. And I was like, you know what? I don't like spending time in the bath. It takes too long and I just got stuff to do and I just thought I knew best. But my muscles really were craving a bath just wanted to relax and I didn't like it. So I was like, even when I got into a bath for about five minutes, I was like, okay, okay, you know what? I'm done. I got to get out. So now though, I'm a different person. I've matured. I've learned that I need self-care, that I need to take stock of things. I need to unwind so that I can be revitalized and refreshed and strengthened before I take the next steps. So now sort of taking a bath Sometimes I'm probably too long in the bath until it gets really cold and I'm like, got to get out. But my point is, you know, there are certain practices that you may be starting to implement now that you didn't before because you're learning to love yourself on an unconditional level and you're moving away from something that has not been good for you or has been highly pressurized and you're managing stress levels right now. You're seeing that you are a gift and that's a gift in friendship, in relationships, in the community, in the world, in love, whatever it is. I feel like you have so much to offer and you don't even have to offer a thing, my beautiful Pisces. You just have to be yourself, but you still give and you still give and you are lovable and you are going to be loved as well. So if you are looking for love, I definitely see it coming in here. Um, but some of you, if you're traveling, you're going to end up in a place that you love. You're going to fall in love with a place that maybe you travel to as a vacation and you may actually decide that that's where you feel like you belong, that you want to live there and the universe will help you move there long term. Also, this card is an indication that, you know, you are worthy of love and respect and you may have encountered people or situations that did not value you. And that does not mean that you should not value you. I feel like you are removing yourself from places that you feel do not value who you are or are not in alignment with the life that you aspire to. And I feel choosing you right now is the best thing you could ever do for you. So really positive energy coming out from your reading. I definitely see that the pressure, it will be taken off. I see divine intervention here. Um, things are going to get a little bit easier, but I am being reminded of the question of, is what you're waiting for worth the wait? So um, that is what's coming out. 
Thank you so much, Spirit Guides, Great Angels. Can you please guide my beautiful Pisceans? What do they need to know? Can you please guide them for their highest good? What are they meant to be aware of? Okay. Oh, they want one more. Thank you so much, Spirit. Okay. So we have... It's easy to be brave from a distance. Okay. So uh, this card... For the, 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 oh, if I can get it up, this card, uh, the three of wands there, uh, this is a card of looking at something from a distance. So as I said, this card is kind of like, what are you waiting for? Get out there. Uh, but I feel th there is an important wait. I feel like this pause, this period of reflection is important. It's given to you on purpose. Sometimes we can feel like our life is in stillness, like nothing is happening, like we're in a repetitive cycle, but that's happening on purpose to give you an opportunity to really reflect on what it is that you want and the next steps you want to take. So I feel here that um, there's this energy of being at a distance at first, and maybe that's what the eagle was about, to zoom out. And then the owl is to zoom in. So this is about you being distant at first, withdrawing in order to really sort something out or see it from different angles and then really face it and get involved in it to change it. So I feel this is energy happening in your reading where you're taking charge. Uh, we've also got in alignment, in alignment there. And it says you're vibrating at a frequency that matches your soul's intention. This is perfect. Awake, living your truth and the best self. So this is about you trying to move towards your best life. And it's hard. It really is hard. But I see some respite because you are aligning yourself with a wish, a goal, a dream. I mean, the chariot card says you'll be successful. You will reach your destination, whatever destination that is. For some of you, it's good health. You know, with that devil card, some of you may have been feeling under the weather or you've been uh, unwell recently. And the four swords indicates, you know, you've got to rest. Let your body heal first before you're getting back in the fray. Even if, for example, you're in a career and people are calling you like, hey, Pisces, when are you going to be back? We miss you. There's a lot of work on. You're like, so what? My body is calling out for rest. So I must honor my body. So I feel, you know, of course, you know, they may not understand that. But if it was them, they'd understand, right? So uh, I feel when the moment is right, you will accomplish whatever it is you are setting your intention to do. Uh, we've also got stone people, okay? And it says, everything can change, even someone with a heart of stone. So we've got no feelings, numb, disinterested, distant. Now, I did mention briefly this energy of almost like being on autopilot. You may feel that there's a numbness. I mean, maybe that's the energy that I was getting about the substances, because substances, sometimes they're used to numb pain, right? Um, so it's like this energy of you almost like thawing out or uh, suddenly being rebirthed that... There's this energy of, you know, if you've been feeling numb, your emotions are going to come flooding back. And that vitality and um, enthusiasm for life, that lust for life is returning because that devil card can represent lust. It can represent passions. It can re represent things that can be positive, you know, it doesn't always have to be negative. So I definitely see that something is changing here for you. It's almost like you've been a little bit on pause on purpose. And we've also got solitude. Okay, that came up briefly in your reading as well. It says here, taking a break from life, routines, and schedules just to be with yourself. Withdrawal, singleness, and detachment. So detaching from negative things, being in a single energy, doesn't always mean that you're lonely. It means that you are enjoying your own company and you're learning more about yourself, the things that you love doing for you and the things that perhaps are not so good for you. So if you are lonely, though, I definitely see that there is, uh, you know, an opportunity for you to meet new people, especially connected to some sort of travel. I mean, it could be a spiritual retreat that you're going on, or it could be like a group event that then ends up taking a trip somewhere together. So please take it as it resonates. We've also got revolution. Okay, and it says here, the upper world is helping you transform and get rid of your worries. Again, I mentioned that earlier. There's nothing to worry about. There's divine intervention here. Dramatic change, evolving, and reshaping. So that's a really great word, reshaping. You're currently reshaping your landscape so that it fits in more with the life that you aspire to. And we've also got certain things catch your eye, but pursue only those that capture your heart. 
Again, that's really connected to the, is the thing that you're waiting for worth the wait? So, I mean, this figure is about to set up a bow and arrow, to set a target, an intention. So it's really about reflecting on the things that really like set your soul on fire before you go and do it. You know, we accept so many things that uh, we kind of deserve more, but we accept what's on offer sometimes as humans. We accept less than we truly deserve. But also, you know, we all have to do a job at some stage that we don't particularly love doing, but we need the money, we need to pay the bills. And that doesn't mean that your passions are not going to be ignited in the future and do something that you want to. I see it as a stepping stone for some of you. If you're doing something that perhaps you don't really love doing right now, I feel like you're moving away from it to be more independent, but you may be learning about uh, processes in a place that perhaps you feel is not really for you long term, um, but you're going to utilize that and transfer that information or that knowledge into something that you really are passionate about. So I feel, you know, there is a yin and a yang to everything. And I feel right now you're just trying to navigate that path. Uh, we've also got between worlds. Yeah. So it says here, caught between two worlds, comfort and the unknown. Only one can exist. Two paths, living two lives, and indecision. A big decision needs to be made. Chariot card is about choosing a path. But also, because we've got the devil card there, this can indicate that you've reached a level of comfort in your life to the point where we get comfortable with a repetitive cycle. And then we start to feel a little bit like growing pains, like, well, what else? And that three of wands there is like, what, what else? What else is out there for me to explore? Because some of you may be feeling a little bit antsy, a little bit bored with circumstances right now. I mean, I know everybody's not um, given the luxury of boredom because we're so busy, you know, life is life and it keeps moving forward and we got to catch up. So I feel some of you, you know, if you are feeling that things have become really stagnant in your world or you're feeling stuck, I feel this energy is being given to you so that you can be the change that you want to see in your life. And I feel change is afoot and it is going to help you long term to reach your goals, but also to live the life that you aspire to and to really enrich your heart. With that Queen of Cups there, I see that you're choosing your heart. You're choosing the things to pursue that only capture your heart. Okay, so I'm just going to go and get a trinket or a rune before we close. Okay, we have, oh wow, I've just seen what you got. I love, I close my eyes when I uh, pick the trinkets. And of course, uh, you can't see my eyes, so you have to trust me on this one. But um, first of all, we got the arrow. So this is about your intention. This is about your focus. It's about you being a warrior in life, the sacrifices that you've made to get to where you are, and that you're doing a really good job. And it's hard. You know, you've had to push through. And I definitely see you're having the courage to get justice for all the effort that you've been putting into your life. And uh, the arrow indicates the only way is up. Okay, now also we've got this like sea ring, it's a life ring there. So it connects somehow to the sea shanty um, that I'm going to have to look up there. Um, but also it's like if you're struggling right now, divine intervention is sending you a life ring. You know, it's helping you keep afloat. Um, for some of you also, this could be about your commitments because rings always connect to commitments, agreements, and understanding of, um, you know, agreements or commitments between each other. But ultimately, this is a safety asset, really. This is about you uh, being safe, secure, and protected in all your endeavors. And um, yeah, I feel things are going to work a little bit more in your favor than they have been. And of course, you're choosing the heart. So of course, a heart showed up for you as well. So this is about your passions, what your heart really wants. And uh, you have a beautiful, pure heart. And you know, you are love itself and you deserve love. So I definitely see here that whatever your heart is vibing at right now, you are in a frequency of attracting what your heart desires. That's literally what the three of wands also means. So very positive. Um, yes, I see that you're going through a difficult time right now, but things are going to get easier. You are going to be able to catch a break.
okay so I'll leave it there I hope something resonates in that reading for you my beautiful Pisceans if it does please like or subscribe to my channel completely free for you all you have to do is press that notification bell it lets you know when I update my next message it lets me know that you resonate with the reading which is so important for me too also some of you beautiful Pisceans have reached out and said they're not receiving notifications so uh, I reached out to YouTube and they told me they did an update and it has affected a few things so all you have to do is go to your YouTube settings then to the notifications button and then see all the notification bell type things if they're on and if they're not just turn them on okay and then you have to be subscribed to the person that you want to receive the videos from and press their notification bell as well okay so uh, I'm not just saying for my channel if you're just having problems across the board I thought I'd reach out to YouTube just to help some of you out there and I hope it does help also, they mentioned if you're using a laptop or a computer that blocks pop-ups, just go to your settings on that and then, you know, undo that or whatever. I didn't really understand that bit, but uh, I thought I'd mention that as well. So thank you so much, my beautiful Pisceans, and love and light.